Welcome back to The Next List. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Neri Oxman may fundamentally be an architect, but it turns out her experiments with 3D printing in nature sometimes have very beautiful outcomes. Sculptures that are now in permanent collections in museums all over the world. We are here tonight at the Central Pompidou for the opening of uh, a show that's called Multiverse Creatif. My contribution to the show is called Imaginary Beings, the Mythologies of the Not Yet, and it explores some of my approach and design that has been building over the last 10 years. <laughs> the name of, of the show, uh, Imaginary Beings, really came from a book that, that I've read by Jorge Luis Borges, a book that's called The Book of Imaginary Being. It was a collection, a library of mythology, a collection of 120 myths from around the world, from different epos, different eras. And what you find is that every culture has a dragon, every culture has a mermaid. And so these myths repeat themselves across all cultures and all environments. And that was very, very interesting to me. So the show is really a bestiary of those mythical beings that are designed around the human body. So wearable myths that uh, perhaps one day will turn into buildings. Every imaginary being really explores a different part of the body and a different kind of augmentation. So there's a helmet series that explores uh, shock absorbent helmets. There is a corset that allows to, uh, for you to be protected, so a stiff armor uh, that allows you at once uh, flexibility and protection. And all of these uh, imaginary beings were 3D printed using objects, multi-material printing technology. I've seen uh, about the 3D printer working and I never thought about it being used to art. For me, I think that it's some like mixing of uh, human body and uh, like superheroes in the comics. What may not be immediately evident from Neri's art is that these pieces are born not only of nature, but of numbers. And one of her main collaborators isn't even an artist, he's a scientist. My name is Craig Carter. I'm a professor of material science at MIT. Um, I've spent most of my career doing applications of applied mathematics and material science. The first time Neri came to me, she asked me to do some calculations, which seemed just on the edge of being plausible. So all of my work till, till today was really inspired by this idea of code and gradient. And that code can be a computational code, but of course it represents a, a certain formal logic. So the way it works is Neri will begin with a brilliant concept and the design comes in the form of numerical structures like the kinds of things you would see in animation for instance and that system of numbers can be used as the data which goes into a three-dimensional printer or a numerically controlled machine. The other principle is the principle of gradient so you can think of sand dunes, blood vessels, growth, uh, all of these processes can be defined by moving materials from one concentration to another. She tries to take natural phenomena, you know, phenomena that, that occur in nature, like the bark of a tree or the way the sand just like adjusts itself on the beach, and then she tries to extract a mathematical law out of it and make an algorithm which then can be used to reproduce the same phenomenon uh, artificially. Neri will often send me an image of something. It might be the image of a larva of a beetle. And she will say, look at the texture of this larva. Isn't it interesting? Or she'll show me the picture of the underside of a mushroom, which also has a very interesting texture. And then she'll ask the question, can we do something which will develop that kind of texture? So, for instance, the Minotaur head with sutures was a design for um, an augmented helmet. Uh, the inspiration was, again, a biological inspiration that was taken from the human skull. Our skulls have sutures in them, but the sutures are soft uh, lines that, in time, become more curvaceous. And so when you look at Minotaur with sutures, really the idea is to take certain computational algorithms that express the logic of sutures and implement them in the design of this augmented helmet. To find that way of working, what kind of algorithm, what kind of natural processes 
would give rise to those textures to be a very interesting intellectual journey. I don't see her work as art. I see her work as architecture and design. You can perceive her work as art if you look at the object itself, but in truth, it comes from very serious studies and from very serious examination of data and of natural behaviors, and what is distilled at the end is an object that, if divorced from all the background, can be considered as art, but in truth, it's really, it's an experimental study. I can remember in Pompidou seeing these pieces for the first time and could hardly believe that these were the outcome of some algorithm and some numbers. It was something which is absolutely fantastic to me. Artist, architect, and there are even more sides to Neri Oxman, from the Israeli Air Force to medical school. <laughs>